Maldives tourism sees decline in India's share amid dem dem diplomatic tensions over the derogatory remarks by some Maldivian ministers against Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This shift coincides with escalating diplomatic tensions between India and the Maldives following Prime Minister Narendra Modi's recent visit to the Indian archipelago in the Arabian Sea. Indian tourists uh, have long been a key demographic for the Maldives comprising near nearby 11% of its tourism market in 2023. However, the recent controversy surrounding PM Modi's uh, beach excursion to Lakshadweep on January 2nd stirred up a storm leading to a notable decline in Indian tourist numbers in the Maldives. So, of course, viewers, uh, this is... Uh, of course, information pertaining to Maldives, Maldives tourism sees, of course, is now seeing a decline in India's share amid uh, diplomatic tensions over the derogatory remarks by some Maldivian ministers against Prime Minister Narendra Modi. My colleague uh, Akshit Gupta joins us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Akshit, of course, uh, you know, this uh, was uh, but obvious. It was, uh, in fact, uh, one would have predicted this to happen because... Uh, Maldivian, Maldivian uh, minister said so much about India and our Prime Minister and of course uh, then you had Prime Minister Narendra Modi go to Lakshadweep, show the beauty of Lakshadweep and now of course, uh, you know, it, I mean it almost uh, seems like a self-sabotage by the Maldives uh, but if you could take our viewers through the details on this. Yes, uh, I met the diplomatic row from being the number one country of origin for the tourism sector, um, uh, you know, in Maldives, uh, 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 the, the, the Basically, the numbers uh, actually have been now dropping and the new bookings uh, have been also slowing down uh, amid the whole diplomatic row because according to, to the data also published by the Maldivian Tourism Ministry, the total number of Indians that travelled to the country between 1 and 28 January were uh, uh, approximately 14,000. And even as tourists from India declined in numbers, January 2024 uh, saw so 11.9% uh, growth in, uh, in Europe. A tourism sector overall, if, if, we, if we just talk about, and Maldivian tour operators uh, uh, have also said that the fall in Indian tourists uh, to the island nation has been predictable as other global markets have opened uh, for Indian travellers. Well, they also pointed out that due to the current geopolitical tensions, tour operators were not so keen on sending uh, Maldives as a destination to India uh, for at least a few <coughs> months. Uh, ties between India and Maldives have been strained, uh, as we know, uh, since the three deputy ministers of the Maldive, Maldivian government uh, were suspended, uh, who made uh, uh, de derogatory remarks uh, about Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, on social media. Uh, Akshat, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast and sharing those details with our viewers. Meanwhile, joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Sanjeev Srivastava, international affairs expert. So maybe... President Moizu is in denial, he's gripped by the tentacles of China, but this is a clear indication of self-sabotage. How big of a hit uh, do, you, do you assess, uh, will the Mal Maldives be expecting as far as their GDP is concerned? Well, sorry, could you repeat your question, please? Uh. So, uh, of course, we are talking about uh, how there is a decline in tourism in Maldives. And what I was, in fact, stating was that, you know, maybe President Moizu is in denial. He is perhaps gripped by the tentacles of China. But uh, this is a clear indication of uh, self-sabotage. How big of a hit uh, will the Maldives, uh, in fact, the Maldives should be expecting as far as their GDP is concerned? Yes, yeah, certainly. You know, the kind of uh, moves Maldivian uh, government, uh, Moji administration is taking is uh, uh, certainly uh, it will hit uh, their uh, various uh, critical sectors. And obviously, the tourism uh, sector is uh, one of the key sectors uh, where, uh, uh, on which uh, Maldivian economy is based. Uh, about 28% uh, of the entire Maldivian GDP uh, comes from the tourism sector. And uh, because of the bad moves which Maldives is taking, the kind of impression it is giving uh, to the international community and, uh, and to India uh, too, obviously uh, a lot of tourists are, dis uh, are discouraged and distracted uh, to uh, other you know, destinations and they are, uh, they are very much uh, avoiding uh, Maldives at this point of time because of the various uh, 
moves and posturing which the Modi administration, uh, administration is doing, which is obviously quite negative. So I think uh, the kind of approach uh, Modi administration has taken, it will harm uh, the Maldivian you know, economic interest. And also, let me say that it will ultimately harm the Moju government itself. And the kind of scenes which we are witnessing inside the parliament of Maldives over the appointment of a minister and the kind of uh, <coughs> physical, you know, uh, 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 fish fighting uh, very much uh, had gone on is certainly uh, giving a very, you know, negative and bad impression about the Moju administration's moves. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, it will ultimately hit the Moji administration. And now there are reports that uh, there is a possibility of uh, uh, impeachment motion successfully going ahead because the uh, you know, Mal uh, Maldivian parliament uh, very much has the right to impeach any president uh, uh, if the, uh, the two-third majority is there. And at this point of time, the major you know, political parties, opposition parties, Maldivian Democratic Party as well as the Democrats, they are having a two-third majority, and they are uh, uh, moving to go ahead with this uh, uh, impeachment motion against uh, President Moiju. So I think ultimately it will harm Moiju. Right, sir. Uh, and if it does not, he does not realize the kind of mistakes he is making. Rather, he is making All blunders right. uh, at this point of time. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.